Okay, a very good morning to everyone. Okay, uh, this is our latest unit, unit 9. The title is Game OE. So, for this time around, I will focus on the listening skill first. So, these are our learning objectives. Right, by the end of the lesson, you from clues provided by other words and by context on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. Next, you will be able to understand specific information and details in extended depth on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. So these are our first question. Okay, what is your idea of a holiday camp? Okay, can you share with me what is your idea? Okay, actually a holiday camp or some camp is an unforgettable experience. So there are numerous activities that teach growing campus, responsibility, courage, and great life lesson. So every day at summer camp is an adventure. Through thrilling and exciting activities, campus grow self-confidence and become more eager to take on new adventures. Okay, there are a few thrilling ideas okay, for you to try out with your friends either or maybe you could suggest to your teachers to have this kind of activity while you are having your camp okay this is this is actually helping you to push your limits and find your inner courage right one of the activity most probably you can try hiking because hiking is a thrilling way to get away from technology and other distractions of daily life. Getting to explore the outdoors together is a way that uh, you and your friends can bond and experience nature in a fun and interactive way. Hiking to destination like lookout points and waterfalls allows campers to see their surroundings from a different perspective and feel a sense of accomplishment. Uh, in other words, this is a way for you to build your friendship and get exercise while gaining a new appreciation for the outdoors. Alright, hiking to exciting location and conquering difficult obstacles is actually a rewarding and thrilling experience for those involved. Okay, so getting out and exploring the surroundings of the campsite is an incredibly fun camp activity. Okay, other than that, you can try uh, this activity which is the horseback riding so for adventurous campus big and small horseback riding is the uh, holiday camp activity that you can find if we choose to have any camping activity at any suitable places okay Horseback riding is a great way to experience the outdoors and own sorry and one's own surroundings. Uh, interacting with animals in a hands-on way makes horseback riding a unique way to experience nature. Okay. This creates a strong bond between campus, which is you, and your outdoor experience. Alright, next activity is okay, 
this one is the most adventurous one which is okay water rafting okay river rafting uh, especially is an experience like no other okay rafting provides one on one experience with nature and create a bond between campus as you will learn the building skills and conquer the water right for the white water uh, for campus with courage and an unstoppable urge for excitement river rafting is the holiday camp activity you are looking for okay river rafting is not for the feet of heart it is an extreme and unforgettable experience of campus against the anti elements of nature so river rafting is for those ambitious campers okay this is a holiday camp activity that you can bring in or you can have uh, with your friends so do you have any other ideas you can share with me later okay before we start our first activity let's have a look first this is a tip you will probably need to write between one and three words in each gap okay maksudnya ada orang kosong the words is between one to three words and although the sentences around them will be different the words you need to write will be the words that you hear okay so it means the answers are exactly taken from the audio so you don't have you won't need to change any endings and any tenses or articles or anything else so that is the reason why you have to pay full attention while listening to the audio okay the first activity from your textbook okay you can refer to your textbook page uh listening is on page 116 okay question number one activity one <coughs> read this sentences and say what part of speech we complete each one how to you know so there are four sentences there first one they couldn't believe how large and dash the cruise ship was two we decided dash to Paris instead of taking the train number three I stayed in a small but beautiful dash on my city break number four the children jump dash and noisily into the pool so you must decide what part of speech will complete each sentence maksudnya awak kena fikirkan type of speech that complete this sentence okay let's check the answer i will show you the answer for activity number one so this blank answer is actually words to describe adjective okay so uh, what is adjective adjective is a word that tells you more about a noun it describes or modifies a noun okay adjective ni digunakan untuk menggambarkan or memberi penjelasan dengan lebih details pada kata nama alright number two okay Number two is full affinitive. Full affinitive means it follows the verb decide, uh, and then you have to add the word to before the words. So it means that the answer here you should start with the word to, then followed by the root word. Kata asal di balik example to eat, to write, to drink. So listen carefully, and then you can identify the correct answer for this part later. Okay, number three, right? The missing gap is actually a noun, kata nama. Okay, it follows the in 
definite articles and two adjective that sorry adjective that so we can uh, see uh, two adjective here small and beautiful so that is why the black one is for you to find the suitable noun from the audio and the last one is actually the adverb so what is adverb adverb is a word or an expression that modifies a verb adjective determinants clause prepositions or sentence so there are different between adjective and adverb adjective in malay if i'm not mistaken is kata sifat all right so now listen to the audio and complete exercise one and write down the correct sentence you don't have to change the form of the words unit nine listening exercise two one they couldn't believe how large and luxurious the cruise ship was two we decided to fly to Paris instead of taking the train. Three. I stayed in a small but beautiful hotel on my city break. Four. The children jumped happily and noisily into the pool. Okay, if I say you wanted to hear uh, the audio, you can simply uh, replay it back again. Right. Next activity is okay. Activity uh, three. Question number three. Okay, you must look at the sentences in exercise four. The one that I have showed you in front is activity or sentences from exercise four. Then determine what part of speech will complete the gaps by identifying the clues to help you. So the sentences with the same part of speech are grouped together. There are only uh, three different parts of speech which are adjective, verb and noun in the task. So unlike the previous one, there are four including adverbs. But this uh, question, there are only three adjectives. So there are three parts of speech. So, look at question or sentence number 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. Next one, 3, 8, 9, and 10. And then question 7. Once you have uh, identified the forms, the parts of speech, then it will be easier for you to answer. Uh, exercise four so you know what to hear and then how to fill up those gaps so let's have a look first at question sentence number one number one uh, Butlin thought that British people needed an opportunity to get away from the dash of their everyday life number two Butlin offered all inclusive holidays which would cost people the same as a dash. Number three, the Shelleys at Butlin's original camps were bright and dash but very simple. Number four, many people who had worked as a red coat became dash later in life. Number five, Butlin got the idea for his holiday camps from a summer camp he saw in dash number six butlin's arrangements with the british government during the war enabled him to make a large dash seven butlin's camps were popular after the war because people didn't have enough money to dash Number eight, some guests found Radio Butlin's music and announcements very dash. Number nine, nowadays, 
but these holiday resorts provide a range of dash entertainment, shops and restaurants. And number 10, the recently built hotel offers guests all the resort facilities but with dash competition. So let's hear the audio first. Exercise 4 In the 1930s, a new kind of holiday was invented in Britain. A man called Billy Butlin had the idea that hard-working British people needed somewhere to go that was affordable and fun in order to escape the routine of their normal working lives. His idea was an early type of package holiday. He would offer full board accommodation and a lively program of free activities and entertainment for all the family. This would all happen in one place, and all for the price of a week's wages. His first holiday camp, as they were then known, opened in Skegness on the east coast of England in 1936 and was a huge success. Staying at a Butlin's holiday camp wasn't exactly like staying in a five-star hotel, though. Accommodation was in small wooden huts called chalets, which were arranged in rows facing each other. They were bright and colourful, but basic, and toilets were in shared blocks in the middle of the rows. All meals were provided in huge dining rooms, and there were daily activities like swimming, sports and competitions, and evening entertainment such as shows and dancing. Butlin's next great idea was to employ a team of staff called Redcoats, they wore red jackets and their job was to join in with everything and encourage every member of the family to join in too. Many redcoats later became famous entertainers. Billy Butlin came from a family of fairground showmen, so he knew about making money from entertaining people. He'd spent his teenage years in Canada and while he was there he'd visited a summer camp which gave him the idea for his holiday camps back in England. During the Second World War, Butlin's holiday camps were taken over by the British government for training and housing soldiers, and he was paid to build several more, which then became holiday camps again only weeks after the war ended. Butlin made a huge profit from this wartime arrangement. In the years after the war, the camps became even more popular, as people who couldn't afford to travel abroad needed somewhere colourful and fun in which to enjoy themselves. Butlin continued to build more camps during the 50s and 60s, and his camps became famous for the crazy games and competitions that were held there, like knobbly knees and glamorous granny contests. In order to communicate with so many guests, Radio Butlin played music and made announcements through loudspeakers in every chalet and across the camps. Some guests found this so annoying that they cut the wires in their chalets. Despite this, Butlin's remained very popular and in 1972 received over a million bookings. Between the 60s and the 90s, though, Butlin started to suffer competition from cheap overseas package holidays and many of the camps closed. However, in the remaining three camps, a huge program of modernization took place. Butlin's holiday resorts, as they are now called, offer fantastic indoor and outdoor entertainment, shopping and dining, with a much wider choice of activities available. The original wooden chalets of the 1930s are long gone, having been replaced by more modern versions. Only one remains, which is now protected as a historic building, and is for display only. In the 21st century, Butlins even opened three hotels on one of their sites, enabling guests to enjoy more luxurious accommodation whilst still enjoying all the activities the resort has to offer. Okay, all right, that's it. So again, if you wanted to listen to it again, you can uh, replay it back and look at for the answers. Okay, all right. So I think that's all for our uh, lesson for Unit 9 Listening Skill. Those students, please send in to me the answers, all right, in our Telegram channel. All right, so that's it for now. 
Stay safe and see you in the next lesson.